This is interesting. It is now the beginning of January. I think it's January 2nd, 2023. And we are in the middle of a heat wave. I don't know if I can say that, but it's been 10 degrees. Today is 4 degrees. I'll put that in Fahrenheit below. And practically all of our snow has now disappeared. We had over 2 feet of snow. You've seen in my last videos of me plowing the driveway and the front of the road, shooting snow over to the hedges. And now it's like spring. We still have about two and a half months of actual winter. We haven't even hit the February deep freeze yet. And that's where we get sustained minus thirties. Um, so we still have that to look forward to, but I'm going to take this opportunity right now and we're going to do some maintenance on the tractor. So the first one I'm going to do is the hundred hour service. So if that's interesting to you, stick around. I'm still having a lot of exhaust fumes that are billowing up in this area and uh, getting all over the back of the blower. So I might try to go down further with this or, or just leave it because it's a tractor. Let me know what you guys do to uh, fix that. And uh, we're just gonna pull the tractor out. We're gonna do it in the sunshine where it's nice. I don't even need my coat. I guess it's because uh, we're acclimatized to the cold, but I could be walking around in shorts and a t-shirt. I'm gonna let it run just to uh, get up to temperature. So if you guys are looking to do maintenance on your tractors, you can download the My Kubota app and it has all of the manuals needed, all the maintenance intervals, all the steps to take. They have really good videos on how to do stuff. That's what I'll be using to do the 100 hour maintenance on the tractor. I'm also gonna tighten this up again. Seems to have loosened. Man, I hate those. Let's go ahead and tighten these. There we go. So I, th I think the other thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna work on making a, a hand crank for the top link. I'll weld a, a pipe that goes all the way around and uh, I'll weld it to this so I can make big adjustments as opposed to having to break out the wrench or a screwdriver or do it with my hand. That'll be a project coming up soon. According to the Kubota app, the 100 hour service is battery condition check, air cleaner element check, fan belt adjust, brake pedal adjust, fuel filter element check, and HST neutral spring adjust. So we're going to go through each of those. Just a quick overview. My suggestion is definitely check out the app and uh, make sure that you're following the, the directions in there. So the first one we're gonna check is the battery condition. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the front where the battery is and on the BX it's located in the driver's compartment behind this cute little shroud. So you just take that off. And there's our battery. What I like to do is to check the terminals to make sure there's no corrosion. So you can see there's no corrosion on that, no oxidization, everything's good. The connections are tight. Same with the negative side, everything looks good. I also like to make sure that the battery stay is tight. There's some nice nylock butterfly bolts here, so I just make sure those are nice and snug. There's nothing else going on, so the battery looks good. If you wanted to, you could check your voltage by connecting a voltmeter and seeing if you have over the correct amount of voltage. You can do that when the battery is off to make sure that your battery is holding a charge. And then you can turn the tractor on and check the voltage again to see if you're getting enough charge. And that's how you check your battery. 
The next is the air cleaner element. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check a couple of the air cleaner parts and see how they're doing. So the first one is we have to open the hood. The latch on the hood is a bit strange. It shows an arrow to pull, but you actually have to lift up. So if you're having trouble pulling up and opening your hood, kind of lift it up a bit and then you can pull forward. It's a two action method. So pulling it straight out won't work. Pulling it straight up won't work. You gotta kind of pull it out on an angle. And once you do that, then you have the ability to push forward. The other thing to remember is make sure on the 2020 BX is that you push your front grill forward. My dealer put these nice rubber edges on it so it doesn't scrape the headlights when it opens if you forget to do that. The first thing I check is the screen. And yeah, I got some dirt in there, so I will clean that off. <sighs> and for that, I'll just use a broom. You can also use um, an air blower or toilet brush or whatever you want. Just give that a clean. Both sides. There. And the next one is the actual filter for the engine. And that's behind these clamps here. So you just remove the clamps. Be mindful, there is a top and there is a relief valve on it. So you can see here that any dirt or debris that comes into here can, can escape at, at the bottom. So just make sure that this is cleaned out as well. I think mine is a bit, uh, I don't know if you can see this. I think it's supposed to make a, a complete seal, but mine has a gap in it. So I'm gonna research to see if that is supposed to seat and stay closed, except for when there's, you need to purge it. So I'll check on that and let you know. And then you can pull out your filter and see how it is. So I will get a cloth and clean that out. That looks really good in there. Now my filter does look a bit dirty. So I will get my air compressor going and I'll just blow this out. And I will replace this uh, in the spring, but in the winter time, we're not gonna get much in the way of dust. So I'm gonna live with it for now. Full charge, turn it on, max. And we'll just take this out to the tractor. This makes it so handy. We can also uh, bring that compressor wherever we need to, but for now, this is good enough. The other thing that's important to check is where you put the, the screen that I originally took out. This screen here goes in this section here. That's your radiator, so make sure that you check it for any damage. I can see a buildup inside, so I will blow that out. And also check behind the fan as well. And then while you're at it, you can also blow off the back side of the cover just to get any dirt and dust out of there either as well. All right, so now we'll blow this out. Everyone kind of just wants to blow this way but you really shouldn't because what you're trying to do is avoid pushing the dirt into the filter so it's sucked into the engine. So you want to blow the air out from the inside. Then if you need to, you can blow across it, but don't blow down into it. So you can blow across it to get rid of some of the bigger chunks. but never add it directly. There, well, let's put that back in. My Kubota only has the, the primary filter. I know you can get a secondary filter if you're in really dusty areas, so check that out if you need to. And clean out your lid as well. And I'm wondering if I'm having an issue with this because I'm pretty sure it should be completely closed. Maybe it's just because it's cold, 
but uh, I fear that uh, air is getting in here and bypassing my screen. So not the filter because the filter is inside, but the, uh, the filter. So you can see that there's, can you see that? There's an air gap in there. Please let me know in the comments if this is supposed to be completely sealed. Use the top and the top to mark sure, make sure that that's in the right spot. It's also keyed. You can see here that there's key indents that line up. So you really can only put it in one way. And then you can go ahead and lock those. The same with the bottom. You can return your screen filter inside. And while you're at it, you might as well just clean that up. And that's the air cleaner element check done. All right, so the next thing is the fan belt adjustment check. So that is done right in here. There's one belt. It goes from the fan around the alternator and down onto the crank. So we'll check that right now. So there's the fan, there's the belt. You can see the crank here. And then it goes over to the it goes over to the alternator on the other side. So to check that, what I'm going to do is just check the tension. Oh, that feels excellent. I'm not going to play with that at all. So if you wanted to adjust that, you could do it right from the alternator. We'll go over there and show you. You would adjust the alternator along this curved path, and that will tighten up your belt. But it seems fine to be where it is right now on my fan and the alternator. So check that off your list. That's done. Now we're going to do the brake pedal adjust. So we're just going to get under the tractor and see how the brake pedal is feeling. I have not had any issues with the brake pedal. So we're just going to go underneath and see how it looks. All right. So from under the tractor, when you push the brake pedal, which is over the far side, there's a bunch of levers and pivot points that go from the driver's side over underneath the tractor to the passenger side. And then there's linkages that go up over the back wheel. So I'll show you, try to show you that now. So basically this secondary bunch of gearing right here and there's a there is a silver gnarled rod right there and that is what gets moved so i'll see if i can adjust the brake pedal myself and uh, show you that moving so let's see if you can see that so that's your brake adjust and i have not had any issues with mine it looks still fine so I'm not going to adjust that. I'm not going to play with that. But that's where you would check it. That silver gnarled rod right there. You can also get to it from your wheel. If you take your wheel off, or you can see that it's right here. So that rod you can adjust. You back off the nut, turn the all thread, and then tighten the nut back up if you need to strengthen your brakes. Also, please remember there are no front brakes on a BX tractor, only on the rear. So that's the only place you can adjust it. So it's important to remember if you're going up and down slopes, you should have it in four wheel drive to allow fluid to control the front uh, wheels to slow yourself down. Because if not, all you have is the rear brakes. And if you have a lot of weight on the front and no ballast on the back and your back wheels come off the ground, there's no stopping you. So make sure you have it in four wheel or you have a balanced weight. So that's the brake pedal adjust done. The next step is gonna be the fuel filter element check. There are two fuel filters on a BX tractor. One is right before the engine and the other one is underneath. So let's go underneath. I'll show you where the fuel pump is and then I'll show you where the filter is and then the one getting to the engine. So back under the tractor we go. Back under the tractor. And what you're looking at right there is the fuel filter that white thing mine it looks kind of odd because I'm, I'm using farm diesel which is red it's got dye in it so over here that is your fuel pump so you don't have to play with that but you want to check your fuel filter for sediment and if you're having any gelling in the winter time make sure you use some proper anti-gelling solution in your fuel 
up here in Ontario, Canada, where we are, our fuel stations already add additives to prevent that, but it's always good to put some more in. So that's the first one. Mine looks fine. I changed mine uh, before last spring, so I'm not worried about it now. That is where the first fuel filter is after coming out of the pump. And the second one is right on the motor. So it comes up from that, up from that first one into this second one right here. So check this one as well. I do have a new spare that I will be putting into this one uh, probably in the fall of 2023. So I don't have to do these yet, but the fuel system comes up. And then this is your bleed line right here. So if you're changing your filters and you get air in your system, you can crack this a bit. And then as you turn the pump on, fuel will start to pour out of this and then you can crank this back down and then you've bled the system. Uh, the Kubota does really well at bleeding the system anyway, but if you need to get a bit more, then you can do that there. I've also seen where they do a fuel relocation, a fuel filter relocation kit, and that goes into this area right here. Or it can go anywhere you want, really. But I've seen them where they put them right here, like under the tractor a bit more, under there. Um, and that just makes it easier to visualize what's going on instead of having to climb underneath and look at that, that first filter. That's a real pain in the butt to try to change anyway. So to have them relocated with longer fuel lines up into somewhere in this area where you can see it better to see the, the separation of if you have water in your fuel or not, you can do that. I would still recommend leaving this one here, but just move the other one or get a, a larger one that you can see the uh, contents of your fuel to this area. Much easier when it comes time to do the maintenance. So that is the fuel filter adjustment check. The next one to do is the HST neutral spring adjust. That's the hydrostatic transmission neutral spring adjust. We'll do that now. So that's again back under the tractor. So the Kubota has a, a hydrostatic transmission which uses the same fluid that runs through the rest of the tractor and it's controlled by your front and your rear pedal. So you put your toes on here and your heel on here and this controls the flow of the hydrostatic fluid. An interesting note is when you push these, if you want to get more torque out of your transmission, using less downforce on the pedal will allow you to do that. If you open it up, it uh, is for higher speed, but you won't get as much torque. So if you just mash it, you're not going to get as much torque for pulling or pushing. You want to use higher RPM and a little bit of pressure. That's the same with reverse as well. So let's go underneath and check out the HST spring. All right, so your HST neutral spring adjust is this right here. It looks kind of complicated, but really it's very simple. This is forward and this is reverse. And you just want to make sure that this spring is giving you the full length that you need to. So the adjustment is done at the back. Sometimes what happens is you get, uh, your tractor will be creeping along. So you'll want to go under the back side here and adjust that spring. You can probably get to that better from where your HST filter is down here. You can do that there. Something of note is if you want to know where your cruise control is, that's done by this little uh, pivot point here. So as you push your throttle forward and then you push your cruise control button on the operator's platform, it engages this tooth bar and that's where it gets engaged. So now I'd be going forward and obviously you can't do it in reverse. There's nothing to stop it. So you can only do cruise control. You can only use the cruise in forward motion. So you can do that right from there. And there are a couple different detents. So it doesn't have to be full speed, but there is, so it can be like, so that's how that works. The other thing to remember is there is a grease fitting that you must do. And that is at the top of this bar and you can access it through the floor pan above. And I'll show you that now. So this is your cruise control and it moves that rod and that's the bar that we were playing with. And this is the hole that I was telling you about that you need to grease. So pull that back and there's a Zerk fitting in there. Make sure you do that. That makes this move a lot easier. So then what I'll do is I will use this opportunity to grease this one. So just look inside and there is a grease fitting in there. So don't forget about this one or it's going to make it very difficult for you to Use your pedal to go forward and reverse.
And that's that. I will spend some time to clean up that because it was kind of dirty. And that was the conclusion of the HST neutral spring adjust. So that is 100 hour service done on your Kubota BX. Try to do it when it's, try to do it when it best suits uh, the working conditions and then get that done. So I chose a beautiful day to do mine. What did you do on your land today? If you like this content, please like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. And then we'll just uh, roll it back in the shop.